Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate job scraper on LinkedIn using Sociinator. Scraping jobs on LinkedIn has never been easier. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your LinkedIn account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on LinkedIn through Sociinator. Let's scroll to the right and click Job Scraper. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to conveniently scrape a number of jobs. There are several configuration categories for Job Scraper activity. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted jobs to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the job. You can select the Query Type through the drop-down button. For this one, we only have one Query Type, Search URL. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test the Search URL Query Type. So for this one, we need to search something on LinkedIn. Let's say we search Digital Marketing, then click Jobs because we are targeting LinkedIn Jobs. So these are the search results for Digital Marketing under Jobs. You may copy the search URL here and paste it in the query box over here. When you're done, click Add, and it's added in our queries list. So this will target the jobs that appeared in our search and scrape them. Let's try another one, Public Relations. So we are already under Jobs. So copy the search URL again, paste it here and it will target the jobs that appeared in this particular search result. So you can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say the second one, click it, and it's gone. Finally, the last tool is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape jobs. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 83, medium with 166, fast with 333, or super fast with 500. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each job is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of jobs you set in number of scraping per job. Number of scraping per job will allow you to specify the number of LinkedIn jobs you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of LinkedIn jobs to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max scrape. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping jobs even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click Add Interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite, let's call it LinkedIn job scraper and click save we can then open it by clicking select favorite time 
and choosing LinkedIn Job Scraper. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping jobs on LinkedIn, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating Job Scraper on LinkedIn through Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the Social drop-down button and select LinkedIn. This will take us to the Accounts tab. Let's switch to the Scraper tab and select Job Scraper on the left side of the app. Here, we can name our campaign. Let's call it LinkedIn Job Scraper. For the search URL query type, Let's use the same query from earlier. Click Add, and it's added. Then for Job Configuration, let's select Slow. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, Select Account or Accounts. In this part, you can select multiple LinkedIn accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click Save. After saving, let's click the red button, Create Campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the Save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our LinkedIn Job Scraper campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign and the Action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.